In this video we are going to see how to create a container diagram. In this example we got this like a zoom in the internet banking system with these new elements and these new relationships. So we are going to, to see how to create that. So now we are going to contain a view we add one. Uh, okay, so first we need to save and first of all we need to add the elements here because we don't have one. Since it's um it's a uh, it's the internet banking system container, we put here right we left click here and we add the first one is web. That's it, we add container. Oh, there is a typo here. Check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We left click, now we add single. Page. Now left click here and we now go mobile app. We have container. Now we are API. system and lastly database we have container so now we're going to save this and go to relationships we're going to uh, Personal banking customer, which you who uses the the web application relationship uses single page application. Save it. An API application sends email. Sends. SMMTP. And I think that's, that's pretty much it. We save it and now we're going to views. We are a container view. Put it as container. in relationships we update it and now we got it there okay. 
You save that. And now we can add this like container so we can change the colors specifically for this ones. So we're going to elements and we add well left click tax uh, container. These are actually container, yes, for the sake of it. It doesn't really matter, just to, but in your case you're going to do it. So we're going to views and container, we are the element style for container. We got there. We got yes, we have it, and now we are going to add for a single page styling and mobile and database. We're going to add but the thing here is mobile app. Okay, let's get started with mobile app. Mobile app and the shape it's a mobile. A mobile landscape portrait landscape. Yes, we got it now. Database create, and in this case, is a cylinder. Yeah, and single page. Web application, let's see if we got something. Yeah, single page application, web browser, update, and yes, single page application. We save it, and that's pretty much it. So in the next tutorial we're going to see finally how to create a component diagram. Thanks for watching.